Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Fabio. So today we're going to be back in sketchbook, looking at how we can isolate characters from a background. This is very useful to know how to do, especially if you're looking to export an image without a background or even just isolate different parts of your image to add effects that way. So I'm excited. Let's jump into sketchbook and let's get this tutorial going. I like to use these tools, this method, when I'm working with a real photo and I need to delete the background. So either I want to isolate a piece of the photo to use in my animation, or in this case, I want to isolate a piece of the photo to use as like a YouTube thumbnail or something. So how do I do that? We're going to use our selection tool for this. So we're going to go uh, up here to our toolbar, select, and we're going to use our polyline selection. Click that. Before we start, we should also create a duplicate of our layer. Just in case something goes wrong, we want to have a copy. Working on our new layer, I'm going to zoom right in and I'm just going to outline whatever I want to isolate. In this case, it's me in the photo. So I'm just going to trace as closely as I can the silhouette. So what I'm doing is I'm pressing my mouse to create a point. So I'll press my mouse. Another point is created. Pressing, pressing, and so on. Sometimes it'll like restart on you or like you'll lose your selection. It's kind of annoying that way, but just, you know, take your time and don't rush and you should be fine. The worst is when you get to the end and it restarts and then you have to do it all over again. Okay, so just like that. See how this happened? I kind of double clicked and I closed the selection. No worries. Let's select up here this add feature and we're just going to start on the inside and start going again. So now it'll add to the selection. So this is a little tough because it's black on black, but do your best. Okay, so when I get to the end, double click and it closes the selection for me. So we have what we want to isolate selected. We used our polyline tool and we clicked around the whole silhouette. But what I really want to be selecting is my background. So what I want to do is go back up to my toolbar and see this button beside the X. It says invert or you can press control shift I or is that L? I think it's I. But anyways, you can press this button and now my selection has been inverted. So instead of selecting myself, it's selecting everything else. So all I need to do now is press delete and the background is deleted. Okay, deselect. Perfect. But now we still have one other problem. We still have the white background of sketchbook. I don't want that either. So all I need to do now though is See this background layer? Just turn it off. And now when I save this as a PNG, so PNG will say Fabio isolate file. It saves without a background and I can import it into any software that I want and it will just be myself with no background. And that's it guys, those are the principles of deleting a background. You just gotta outline the silhouette of what you wanna keep, invert your selection, delete the background. And it just opens the door to a whole bunch of other effects, a whole bunch of other uses for your photos. A few things to take note, um, watch the quality of your photos. The lower the quality, the harder it's gonna be to get a clean uh, silhouette. And also watch the amount of detail. So if we zoom in here, all these folds and stuff, it's a little bit tough to outline each uh, each fold, right? So watch the amount of detail and watch the quality of the image. But other than that, you guys should be fine to start deleting your backgrounds and isolating your own photos. So that's it for today, guys. Again, not very complicated, but you just need to watch your quality of your image and how much detail there is. Because the more detail you, you add, the more complex the cutting out process gets. So thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Get out there, experiment with sketchbook, have some fun, and I'll see everybody in the next video.